Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and today I'm going to be going over my set seven Bastion deck profile. I know it's set eight, but the deck hasn't changed. We're still using set seven cards, but I did want to show my main change, which being that Dark Strain is back to multiple copies. So you can run more than just the one, which is nice. We're gonna be showing my deck profile for my current build for Bastion and the changes that I made now that Dark Strain is back up to four if you wanna run four copies. Before I get into that, I just wanna real quick remind everybody who's sponsoring these videos, which is 50cards.shop. You can go there to pick up your playset splits, which I highly recommend if you wanna update your deck. You can also pick up singles from TCG Player. You can pick up sleeves, over sleeves, card supplies, you name it. Go ahead and check out 50cards.shop. Be sure to use code NEXUS for 5% off when you're at the checkout. And without further ado, we're going to jump into the deck profile. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be going over my Bastion deck profile. So jumping into this deck profile, let's just go ahead and get into it. Bastion. So like always, we're just going to start off with the right deck. This one's never, for the most part, ever really going to change. It's the one from the trial deck. It's base. Fort, Rooks, Bastion. So, right deck, that's the same. If you're a Bastion player, you know exactly what you're working with here. All right, now we're working with our grade fours, starting off with our main boss unit of the deck, Bastion Prime. Bastion Prime's skill is when it's on the Vanguard circle during your turn, uh, your front row units get an extra 2K, and uh, when you drive checker grade three, you can restand your whole board or grade three or greater. So if you drive check a Bastion Prime, you can restand all your grade threes. They all get 10K. Um, so you get two more attacks and they're all gonna be like really big beefy columns. So this is the kill turn. You, you also have triple drive inherently because all the grade fours, they all have it. So running for that, cause it's our main boss. And then going into our other two copies of Bastion, we're running in two more just because you can Persona Ride. You also have to Soul Blast or discard a Bastion for Bastion Prime's effect. So if you wanna have more of those, you can do that. Um, but other than that, you're pretty much always gonna to wanna to ride in the Bastion Prime right away. You're never really gonna Persona Ride, but the option is there. It's also a grade three. You might as well have grade threes in the deck. Um, we're not running the full three because we wanna make space for other cards in the deck, such as Dark Strain. Back at four, even though we're running it at three, we're we're back up with the Dark Strains. So Dark Strains skill is you Soul Blast two, and until the end of the turn, all your grade threes that are on your board, they have boost. Easy, they're all, all your grade threes are boosters. You swing with them, boost with them, restand all of them with Bash and Prime. It's a great card. Uh, this card was limited to one. It's now back up to four, so I am running my three copies. I am running three copies of a new card. This is from DBT08. This is Onataria. Onataria's skill is when it's placed, if you have five units on the board or five grade three units, you have a Vanguard Bash in its name, you can counter plus one, draw a card, call a unit, um, or counter plus one, call a grade three, and then you draw a card. Um, the second skill is if you have six more units, this have, has boost. So it has boost passively, even if you don't go into your Dark Strain turns, which is nice, but I do like that you can help you fill a board to go into your Bastion Prime turn, which is nice. And it's also a booster if you don't have the soul for Dark Strain, so it doesn't hurt. An oldie but a goodie, as they say, for Alden. Alden uh, skill is Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 1, uh, call a unit. If you call the Grade 3, you draw two cards, so it's it's a, it's a grimoire. <laughs> uh, it's Pot of Greed. Second skill is when this unit attacks, if you have three or more grade three units on your board, you get 5K and that's not once per turn. So you swing 5K, restand it, swing again, another 5K. So it's 10K when it attacks twice. So good card. After Alden, I am running four copies of Rough Luke because Rough Luke fills your soul and it's free. So what Fluke does is you can move it to the soul and give a grade three unit 10K. So it makes a really big beefy unit during your first bastion turn when you're restanding something uh, it also helps for your soul like i said for when you're setting up for dark strain so i definitely want to run four copies of this it's also a grade three <laughs> i'm running out of space here I'm running two copies of lag rally it's it's nice at two just because uh it's it's counter blast heavy so what it does 
is uh, you, when it attacks, you can counterblast to rest any number of your other rear guards. First of all, it gains drive checks, which is the important reason why you do this. Counterblast to rest any number of the units. This gets 5k and can perform drive checks. So twin drive. Based on the number of things that you rested, if you rested three or less, you have to discard three. If you rested one or less, you have to discard two. That does stack, meaning if you rest one or less, you have to discard five in total. So keep that in mind. So if you're going for game and you need to swing a big number and you don't really mind discarding the hand, just don't rest anything, just boost with it. So you can work with that. Uh, it's just a really good card to fill your hand and drive checks are good because crits win games. And so do over triggers. I am running two of the embrace dragons embrace dragon is our shield it's just uh when it's placed on guard circle your vanguard gets 10k until the end of the battle if you have a grade four vanguard it gets 20k so it's 20k shield or a 10k blocker or a grade two i do like the shield but we're only running it at two for the space and then i'm running two copies of form up of chosen knights so it is our order card what it does is count plus one soul plus one based on number of grade threes on your board if you have two or more give something 5k if you have three or more, draw a card. If you have four or more, your Vanguard gets a drive check. So if you use this where you're on Prime, Quad Drive. It's still good with Triple Drive for Bastion. Um, we are running it because we have the space to now. We don't need to run the set order. That makes your grade threes into boosters. So might as well, let's be aggro again, right? All right, so that was it, believe it or not, for the grade threes. So we're just gonna tuck all these away real quick. Uh, head on over to our normal units, which are our four PGs. Uh, PGs are good. We're not rolling Elementaria Sanctitude because Elementaria Sanctitude only works if you only have a grade three Vanguard. So if you're on Bastion Prime, Sanctitude does not work. So we are running our regular PGs. This is the one where if you have one or less in hand, you do not have to discard for the cost. So that does help a lot, uh, but then that is just normal, normal PG. Now, getting into our triggers, starting off, four copies of Blade Feather. Uh, you could honestly just run Vanilla Crits. It's not even that world of a difference. I would say the vanilla crits are perfectly fine. This one is just when at the end of the battle it boosts you, move to soul, give a unit 2k. It helps fill soul technically, which is why I run it, but the vanillas are fine. Speaking of vanillas, crits win games, so we're running eight crits. You know what else helps win games? Draw triggers. So we're running three draws. This is the Keter Sanctuary draw trigger that gets 5k shield when your opponent's grade three or greater. So we're running three of those to fill our hand and also like Rally is a thing. Uh, also you wanting to see the cards that you need to fill your board. And it's a good defensive trigger because your hand's full of grade threes. So you might want to defend yourself and draw some cards to help defend yourself in the future. Then I'm running three vanilla heals. These are the ones from the trial deck. And then I'm running the one Tear Sorceress, so Tear Sorceress skill. If your opponent's unit gained a crit not by a trigger effect, you can get an extra 15k shield, 25k shield, which is really, really cool. Um, just makes it a lot easier to guard something just once without, you know, having to really worry about dropping extra cards, which is nice in a deck like Bastion because your deck's full, full of grade threes. And our one over trigger, which is our Martinoa. Our Martinoa is the over trigger that gives your rear guards the ability to perform drive checks. All your rear guards are grade three, which means they all perform twin drive. So if you get this while you're with Rag Lagrelli or Bastion Prime, you're getting at least four additional cards in your hand. So our Martinoa is for sure the over trigger you want to use in this deck. And that is it for the deck profile. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video. We'll be updating the deck when Set 9 support comes out. Uh, as well. So again, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you guys sticking around and that's about it. I'll see you on the next one.